I was about to do the weather, but uh, I see we have a caller. Uh, hey, you're on the air with Eddie. What's up? Hey, Eddie, it's Ricky. You talked about feet before. You think about that a lot? Not a lot, to be honest, but uh, I take it you do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Any conclusions you'd care to share, uh, Ricky? Well, we've got free will, right? That's in the Bible and everything. Yeah, right, sure. So free will, right? Am I right? I mean, if we can do what we want, how can there be fate? I mean, you don't know what's going to happen next, so there's no fate. There's just people doing stuff. Well, I don't know, Ricky. I don't suppose you have considered the possibility that we're all here in the service of a greater purpose. Incomprehensible to us, and that what we take to be freedom is nothing more than the move of a pawn on some cosmic chessboard. Limited in scope, subject to the whims of unseen players, existing only for their entertainment. Or perhaps we're just a twisted reflection of actual events that can happen elsewhere. Could it be that such is life in Night Springs? Um, dude, what? Food for thought, Ricky. Food for thought. I want to talk about Alice. Just look at her. She's really beautiful, isn't she? Your wife. Well, our wife, really. <laughs> Just my wife soon. Don't worry. I'm not going to treat her like the others. She's special. If I wanted her dead, she would be. I've been around for a while now. So talented. You haven't seen her new work, of course. Oh, it takes my breath away. Really, she's that good. <gasps> Did you know that I've got a wedding ring, too? We're that similar. She's seen me a couple times, you know. I've let her catch glimpses. She thinks she's imagining things, of course. She thinks you're dead. It might as well be. I mean, even if you manage to keep surviving, you'll be in my trap forever. 
So I'll go to her. It'll be an amazing moment. Oh my God, you're alive. I'll be the good, loving husband for as long as I can stand it. She'll love it. And then, one day, somehow, it'll happen. Maybe I'll slip up, she spots something, or maybe she just starts running her mouth. And then, I'll do it. It's gonna be sweet. <sighs> My darling wife. for all the good it'll do you. For Serena Valdivia, burning the midnight oil was more of an exception than a rule. A procrastinator and a perfectionist, she often worked when she wouldn't be disturbed. Tonight was especially important. The film festival would open tomorrow, and there was still so much to sort out. It wasn't that the work hadn't been done. She just didn't feel like she had completely mastered everything yet.
The dark place is utterly hostile to human life. It eats at your mind, wants you to succumb to madness. Your own thoughts can turn against you. Every shadow conceals a threat that attacks at the slightest sign of weakness. You're under endless assault. Every day is a struggle for survival. But I've learned to take care of myself. I focus on Alice, our life together, my need to be with her. That takes me a long way in the dark place. As long as I have my gun and the flashlight. die, you lose. If you quit, you lose. If you make it to the end of the loop, you still lose. <laughs> Sucker. Thank you.